What's up everyone, Eoskal here. So as a thank you to the recent subscriptions, I threw this video together showcasing my slick dance moves and actually showcasing some of the legendaries that you might be able to find in the game. And by some I mean the ones that I managed to find myself. There are seven of them and I'll be going through them with some gameplay footage and my thoughts and opinions about them. But before I do, just a quick reminder that I do mostly no commentary walkthroughs and playthroughs and you can find them by visiting my channel or by following the links in the description below. And if you do like the video and would like to see more content from myself, make sure to subscribe, leave a like and comment as it will encourage me to create more videos and it will help me grow. Besides, it will be appreciated immensely. So, let's jump into them. So as mentioned, I'll be going through 7 legendaries. And these legendaries, besides being aesthetically cool and otherworldly, they have some really interesting mods on them. Each legendary has 2 mods and 3 different attributes, and the combination of these makes them special. Some legendaries felt powerful, some were really cool to use, and some felt a bit lackluster. Either that, or the description on the weapons themselves felt misleading. But we'll get into those later on. So the first one is a legendary pistol called Torment and Agony. And it comes with the mods Judgment Enforcer, which basically marks enemies that you shoot. And when you reload, you will do 5 times your weapons damage to those marked enemies. And if you switch weapons, you will lose those marks. And the second one is called Clip Combustion, and I'm pretty sure you've seen this before. So basically what it does is, when you reload, you create a shockwave dealing 25 damage to enemies within a 5 meter radius. So, basically this is a really good close combat AOE CC pistol. And I think it's going to be great to have on all your classes. So you could either shoot enemies from afar, mark them and then reload to do massive damage, or you could run into the fray, get up close and personal, shooting enemies and marking them, and when you reload you will release the shockwave and the weapons damage as well. This is a really fun and really cool weapon to use, especially in a crowd, but it works on bosses as well, but I felt that it was more effective in a crowded area. As you can see here, I'm shooting enemies, marking them and reloading, to do the damage and the damage is pretty much insane so yeah this is one of my favorite legendaries in the demo so far and it will be interesting to see how well it performs in the main game later on the second one is the iceberg a bolt action rifle with the mods winter blast which makes critical shots create an icy blast that inflicts freeze on enemies within a four meter radius and the second one is called icebreaker killing shots against frozen enemies make them explode dealing 229 damage. So this is a really cool looking weapon with some really neat effects. And on paper, this would be the ideal weapon for the Technomancer, since the class itself does ice and freeze damage with its melee attacks and the turrets. But this has yet to be tested, and since I got this on the Trickster, I can't say for sure. But for those of you who like sniper rifles and long range weapons, this is a good choice. As you can see, I didn't manage to trigger those effects because first of all, I'm a terrible shot and secondly, those enemies died pretty quickly. So yeah, that's that. But yeah, those mods are ideal for AOE damage and CC. And if you can manage to freeze groups of enemies and make them vulnerable to your attacks, that's great. This will be good on a solo character or even if you play in a group, it will still be beneficial. But since I didn't manage to trigger any of those effects, I don't know how I feel about the weapon itself. So the third one is a personal favorite and it's called the Voodoo Matchmaker. It's an assault rifle with the mods Ultimate Damage Link. It basically shots Link up two enemies, sharing 30% of their weapon damage dealt and 10% of their anomaly damage dealt. And the second one is called Vulnerability Bullets. You might have seen it before. Shots inflict vulnerable on enemies with a cooldown of 8 seconds. So yeah, this is a really wicked weapon, it looks nice and it plays really really nice. 
I've tried it on the captains and it shreds them, literally shreds them. And since you have the vulnerability bullets on them, it makes enemies susceptible to higher damage. So the ultimate damage link is a neat CC mod, which you'll see here. When I shoot an enemy, the closest one will take damage as well. But I'm not entirely sure about the damage formula. So if anyone has an insight on this one, please enlighten me. I can highly recommend this weapon on all of the classes as it is powerful and it will make facing captains and elites an easy task. So next up is Amber Vault, a double gun which focuses on increasing weapon damage by killing enemies. And the mods are Killing Spree, which makes killing shots increase damage by 30% for this weapon for 30 seconds. The bonus itself will deteriorate with time, but it stacks up to 5 kills. So basically you can raise the weapon damage up to 150% and that's a huge, huge bonus. And as long as there are enemies you can kill, you can keep the bonus going on. So this will be ideal for clearing maps and clearing groups of enemies. And the second one is called Brain Eater, which makes critical shots not consume ammo. So not consuming ammo means you will be shooting more bullets and shooting more bullets means more damage. So this is a really good DPS weapon. But the weapon falls behind when facing single target enemies such as the boss in the demo. Since you won't be able to benefit from the mod itself as there are no enemies you can kill to get the bonus damage. It's an excellent weapon to clear mobs and to clear the map, but for facing a boss, it felt weak. So as you can see here in the footage, as long as you can keep killing enemies, you will keep the bonus and you will increase your weapon damage. And by that, you will make it easier to take down armored enemies, elite enemies, and Keeping the kill count will make it easier to clear the map and survive the battle. So this is a really neat weapon to have when doing side quests and when playing solo and going into crowded areas. Next up is Grim Marrow, a sick looking light machine gun with two really good mods, one of which is called Singularity and it's supposed to create a singularity when you kill enemies and when you destroy the singularity it will explode dealing 458 damage to enemies within 6.5 meters radius. And the second one is called Improved Stiffening, shots inflict slow on enemies with a cooldown of 4 seconds. So this is one of the weapons that I said it was lackluster. The second mod improved stiffening works and you'll see it in the video. Um, the slow effect does work, but the first one, the singularity one, it never triggered. I tried so many times I couldn't manage to trigger the effects. So for that reason, I think this is one of the weaker legendaries in the, in the demo so far. I don't know if it, this is going to be fixed in the game. I hope they do, because right now, with what it is, it's not even um, compelling to use the weapon. I mean, the weapon itself looks really cool and wicked, but the fact that the effect never triggered made it feel somewhat underwhelming and average at best. So I was expecting to see a singularity every time I killed an enemy, but clearly that doesn't happen. And if the idea is that there's a chance of getting a singularity, then it should say there's a chance of getting a singularity. The sixth weapon is called the Migraine, and it's a nasty looking submachine gun, and it has the following mods. Ultimate Bleeding Bullets, which makes shots inflict bleed on enemies. And the second one is called Bombs Ahead. Killing shots turn enemies into an anomaly bomb dealing 155 damage with a cooldown of 3 seconds. And this weapon, just like the previous one, fell into the category of being lackluster. So just like Grim Marrow, one of the mods works and the other one it doesn't. So the bleeding effect is applied to the enemies and you can see the damage done. But the second one, the bomb one, 
that never triggered. So I'm not sure if this is something to do with the demo, if it's going to be this way. And even then, if it does like work that way, then it should say that there's a chance of getting an anomaly bomb. Or if there's a trigger that you have to kill a certain amount of enemies until you get that. I don't know. The description, as I said, is misleading and the weapon feels somewhat average. So hopefully they will review this weapon and revamp it since at the moment it's not even fun to use. Next up is Golem's Limb, a pump action shotgun with an awesome design that looks spacey and fits the name, but besides that it has two really good defensive mods, one of which is called Golem Rising. Killing shots grant you a protective golem effect for 3 seconds and this effect is applied every single time you kill an enemy. So as long as you kill enemies you will have the effect on. And the second one is called Vampire. Killing shots grant 15% skill each boost for 20 seconds. So this is a really good defensive weapon. This would be a really good weapon to have on the squishier classes such as the Pyromancer and the Technomancer since the armor gained by the weapon will increase their survivability, but even on the Devastator and the Trickster this could do wonders. As the Trickster you could have both your shield and the armor gained by the weapon to mitigate more damage, and as the Devastator you could use it to complement your skill. So basically this is a win-win weapon for all classes. So as you can see here with the Devastator you can kill an enemy, get the armor on and tank those bullets just like a boss. So yeah, in general this is a really good weapon. Besides the cool looking armor, you have an amazing mod going for it. So one to look out for. And last but not least, in my opinion, the coolest looking weapon and probably the most powerful legendary in the game so far is Rarg's Gaze. I mean, this rifle looks insane. The wicked bony looks, the power surge surrounding it, it looks awesome. But not just that, I mean, it plays awesome as well. So one of the mods is called Weakness Trap, making shots cause explosions, dealing 46 damage and inflicting weakness on enemies within a 5 meter radius of the target and it has a cooldown of 3 seconds so basically when you shoot you will create an explosion and the enemies caught in the explosion will be weakened making them deal less damage and the second one is called burning bullets which makes shots inflict burn on enemies and it has a cooldown of 8 seconds so these are two really cool mods one of them is a defensive one and the other one is a damage dealing one but besides the mods get this it has a critical multiplier of 250 percent and that makes the weapon even better so it's an amazing weapon as it is and if you combine this with the trickster classes skill um, twisted rounds you will probably have one of the highest damage dealing rifles in the demo probably the game as well and you'll be able to melt elite enemies and even bosses and you'll see here in a second, even body shots do crazy amount of damage. Right there, 90% of its health. I mean, that's insane. That's a lot of damage. And there's an explosion and it's dead. So yeah, this gun does so much damage. It's gonna make killing enemies so much easier. And even the armored ones, I didn't have any difficulty killing them. You'll see one soon. There's one shot, explosion, dead. So yeah, if you happen to find this weapon, consider yourself lucky. And that's it everyone. That's all of the legendaries that I managed to get my hands on in the demo and share them with you. Unfortunately, there are still some that I'm missing, but it is what it is. So what did you guys think? Which ones did you prefer? Would you like to see a no commentary walkthrough or let's play when the game releases? let me know that in the comment section below and if you haven't done that already don't forget to subscribe and leave a like thank you for watching and happy hunting